When designing a Google Doc, using tables can keep you and your students organized. You can insert a table by clicking on Table, Insert Table, and I'm going to go with two columns and four rows. Notice my page setup had a blue color background, and now the table is also blue, so it's transparent. How do I change that? I can highlight the cells, the top two cells if I would like to. I'm going to click on Table and I'm going to go to Table Properties so we can talk a little bit about what you can do in Table Properties. I can change the table border, both the color and also the thickness of the border. I can change the cell background, so I'm just going to switch this to a light gray so you can see what that looks like. And then I can align the um, text in here. So table and, and uh, text alignment, so cell vertical alignment, center, I mean top, center, bottom, and table alignment, left, center, right. So if you were to put text in there, where would it go? Or images, where would they go? I'm not going to mess with the dimensions right now. Um, this is something that would probably rarely get touched, as well as the left indent. I'm going to click on OK. And now my top two cells are now a light gray because I changed the color. Another way to get to the cell color and the um, borders as well is if you highlight them, notice a more comes up over here. And I can now look at the border color as well as the border width or thickness. And I can also change the style of the border if I wanted to, to a different style. And here I can change the color of the cells. So I'm going to change those to a little rosy color. So those are ways to manipulate the table. Um, the other thing that people often wonder is, well, how, if I have this but I want to combine these two, what do I do? I can click on Table. I highlighted both of them, notice. Click on Table and Merge Cells. And then I can now put in my title up here. Okay, and I'm going to center that. And then over here, I'm going to have my question and then Student Answers. And maybe I want to change the color of this, right, to a darker red. And over here, I want this to be a white so the students know that they need to answer in there. Kind of don't like this because it's dark so I'm going to change this color again over here to let's go with a tan. Here. I can also change the size of this if I wanted to move it over so the question is a smaller area and the students have more room to answer. So those are basics when it comes to tables, inserting, table properties, and manipulation of the cells.